Well, a lot of people say, you know, I'm not involved in agriculture. I live in town, I work in town, I, I you know, vacation in town. Agriculture is not a part of me. Well, anyone that eats three meals a day, wears clothes, doesn't run around naked, participates in agriculture, whether they know it or not. Anything that's renewable, obviously, or sustainable, has to be managed and maintained. And so for us, uh, water is obviously one of our biggest commodities that we have the least of when we want it. And so it always comes, it's never not come, but it doesn't come exactly when we want it. We see a real commitment to quality of life as it connects to how we manage our water. We've seen a lot of improvement and investment from both the City of Auburn and Auburn University. In the southeast, we get frequent, intense rainfalls. 20 years ago, when those rains would come, those raindrops would hit a very hard surface and travel quickly to the nearest storm drain. Now, at Toomer's Corner, we see technologies like permeable interlocking concrete pavers and flow through tree cells that reconnect infiltration so that when water hits the ground, there's an opportunity for it to soak in. I would say when you're looking at water quality, you always have new challenges. We have growing populations and we have storm water issues and um, you know all kind of things related to even urban areas. So when you're working with water or really any environmental field, um, your work is never done. There's always something new. Teachers can come to our 4-H Water Watch workshops. They can get continuing education units and get started with that program. So call us anytime, email us. We would love to, to help you out. We need data. We need to go back in time and get those pieces of information that are missing. So my lab collects sediment cores, mud cores from the bottoms of these systems, and we measure things going back in time to reconstruct the ecology and the way that these systems have changed to identify the past to manage for the future. And we will take these data and we will add them to other projects. We will add them to monitoring projects. And we will add them to people who are modeling uh, the future of water in Alabama to make this complete picture of, of where is the water, how is the water responding to the pressures of modern day, and how we can preserve it for the people of Alabama and the ecosystems of Alabama moving forward. So when you have conservation tillage, you're generally going to improve your soil structure Therefore, you decrease erosion, and any runoff that may be occurring with that erosion is actually going to be going into the soil profile where the plants can actually use it much more effectively. So in that case, you know, uh, that's where the short-term drought stress comes in. And in the case of an irrigation event, uh, maybe you can cut out an irrigation. Let's say you were, your crop, you needed to irrigate it six times over the growing season, perhaps you could irrigate it five times. So therefore, you save the money uh, you save the resource and so forth, so it, that's how it improves uh, efficiency. We also had uh, issues with uh, soil compaction. We had a, a surface soil compaction in some of our deep south Alabama soils that created problems. We had to work around. Now we've changed the conservation tillage where we don't disturb the soil, we don't disturb it very deeply over a wide area. We keep our soil in the field, we keep our water in the field, and we keep our sediments out of the rivers and creeks. For the next hour, you will see how we are applying innovative methods to eliminate pollution that is harmful to our food and water. You will see how we are advancing farm practices to grow yields while shrinking our environmental footprint. And you will see how we are working to involve everyone in these crucial endeavors, whether you work in agriculture or not. We are all part of this world. Let's work together to protect it. From everyone at Auburn University and Alabama Public Television, thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoy our program.